blog boards are great for taking your blog post from blah to beautiful. They're very easy to use and can add style and character to your blog page in just minutes. Let me show you what I mean. I have some beautiful images from Stephanie Dennis Photography. I'm going to use them to make the blog board that can be used to promote upcoming 2013 sessions. I already opened the Simply White blog board template and as you can see I've added a few images. I have one image box still open here and I thought I'd show you how to use the clipping masks which are used in all Ash Design templates. Over here in my layers palette you can see that I have photo 2 box already selected by this blue color. I'm simply going to get the additional image that I want, drag and drop it into my template. As long as this image is over the photo box I want to clip it into, I'm all set. If I needed, I could drag that image to be there. Once I'm here, I can right click and use this create clipping mask. Or I often use keystrokes, so I'll use option or alt and look for this little icon to appear. Once I click, it puts that image right into that photo box for me. From here, I can move the image around wherever I want within that box for the desired look and fit. If I need to change the size of the image, I can transform the size by going to Edit and Free Transform, or again, you can use Command or Control T. From here, it's going to give me the boxes around the edge, um, and if I put this up, I can go from the corners here with my Shift key and change the size of the image. If you're not careful to hold down the Shift key, sometimes your proportions can get off and your image will start to look something like this. To avoid that problem, make sure that you either keep the shift key down, or if you do find that you've gotten off, you can come up here to the top of your Photoshop toolbar and just click this little icon right here that says Maintain Aspect Ratio. When I click that, you'll see it puts it right back into shape, and I can continue adjusting to get the size and the fit that I want for my, for my image. Once I'm happy with how the image looks, I just hit Enter or Return to set that image. From here, the only thing I need to do is customize the text. Up here at the top of my layers palette are all of my text layers. I want to change this 2012 to be 2013 because now we're starting to look for next year's seniors. And I'm going to leave the other, the other text boxes the same. You could change this to be your logo or your studio name, whatever works for you. From here, I'm just going to save this, file save as. I'm going to save it as a JPEG, and I already had a file, so I'm just going to replace that. From here, I've already designed my blog board. All I need to do is add it to my blog. So I'm going to hop on over to the Ash Design blog. We use a WordPress blog site, so your blog might look a little bit different, but this will give you the same idea. I already have a post started. This is introducing our new blog boards. I've started to write the post and then in here I've already inserted an image that shows some of our new blog board template sets. Underneath this, I'm going to put in this video that we're recording right now, but I'd also like to insert the blog board that we just created. So I'm just going to click to upload or insert an image. Once I'm here, I'm going to click select files. And then I'll just select the blog board that we created. Once this file uploads, I can see it right here in my settings and I can add a caption or any other information that I want to. Um, I'm going to keep it centered and I'm going to keep it full size which is 800 by 800 and I'll insert that into the post. A lot of blogs are 800 pixels wide and so this will just work perfectly once you put it in and uh, it will fit great into your blog. I happen to know that the Ash Design blog is a more narrow blog and that this is going to be too wide. So I'm just going to click on the image and go back in to edit it. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. You could also have done this in Photoshop uh, so it wouldn't be too wide. I'm just going to fix it here and click update. Once I've done that you can see it makes it a little bit smaller within my page. I'll preview the page to see what it looks like now. As that loads, you can see that I'm on the Ash Design site. This is my new post introducing our new blog boards, the same images that I showed you before, and now here is our new blog board. This is a 
the Simply White design with four images. I put my senior girls in there uh, to start communicating that we're doing our 2013 sessions. And really, that's all there is to it. It's so simple and such a great way just to add a little extra to your blog. Uh, we've got some great new designs, and we'll have more to come in the future. So enjoy.